Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cars and Trucks TV. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean an oiled K&N air filter. We have the 2020 Chevy Trail Boss behind us. You guys might have seen that I recently did a review on the K&N air filter, uh, the filter charger system for this truck. And in that video, it was pretty dirty. It, it looks pretty nasty. It's time for a cleaning. So we're going to pop this hood. We're going to take a look at it, take that thing off, and I'll show you guys how to get it done. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off by opening up this hood so you guys can see the air filter itself. It's pretty bad. I've neglected it for a while now. And I go to dry lake beds where the sand is very fine. It's just silt. And then to the dunes, off-roading in different areas. And a lot of debris and dirt and dust and stuff gets up under into the uh, engine bay and gets into the air box right here. So the filter is pretty dirty. It needs to come out. Okay, so obviously the first thing we're going to want to do is just take off the filter itself. So get in there and remove that hose clamp. Once we have the hose clamp loosened up, we can pull that filter off. It's uh, not that difficult. Once we have the filter off, you can see how dirty it is. It's even worse underneath. It's kind of black. It's got a lot of debris in there. So now we're gonna take this filter. The first thing we're gonna do is rinse it out. Okay, so here we have the filter. As you guys can see, there is a lot of heavy debris in there. We wanna get that heavy debris off before we spray the cleaner. So you're always gonna be working from the inside of the filter out. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, your hose, you can use your sink in your house, and just go ahead and give a spray from the inside out and try and clean off some of that heavier debris. That's gonna be the first thing that you wanna do. Okay, so after rinsing this thing from the inside out, it looks like we got most of the heavier particles off. There are still a few places like right here where there's still some particulates in there. So we just wanna get a brush and basically brush those out. Just even a toothbrush will work just fine. Just get in there and pull those light pieces out. And once you have all of the larger material off, then we can go ahead and we can start the, uh, the cleaning process. Okay, so now that we got some of the larger pieces out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry for a little bit. If you wanna speed this up, you can put a blow dryer in there and get some of that hot air to move through, but it's pretty well soaked and we want a little bit of absorption for the cleaner. So we wanna get some of that water out, let the cleaner be able to absorb, and uh, I'll show you guys that as soon as this thing dries here in just a moment. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit with the blow dryer. Okay, so now that our filter is mostly dry, we can start using our cleaner. And what I use is this k and Synthetic Air Filter Cleaner. It's available on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested, but uh, this stuff works really well. So what we wanna do is we wanna apply this fairly thoroughly. And again, we're gonna be working from the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the filter cleaner and get it somewhat saturated, really. And I'm just gonna do some nice, you know, even strokes, just kind of like you're uh, spray painting something, right? And get that filter cleaner all over. Once I feel confident that this thing is completely filled with the cleaner, that's when we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. But again, you might have to go over it uh, two or three times depending on the applicator that you're using. Again, the pump bottle, to me, doesn't come out quite as fast, so, you know, you might have to go over it two or three times, but you wanna get that cleaner all over the filter, again, from the outside inward. So we're actually not gonna spray this on the inside at all. Okay, so now that I've applied the air filter cleaner, what you wanna do is you wanna let this sit for a little bit because the cleaner is gonna penetrate all of the old oil that was on the filter. It's also gonna loosen up some of those smaller particulates. So we want that to sit on there for a little bit before we rinse it off. Now I should note that you don't wanna let this filter dry completely with that cleaner on it. So you're gonna to have to stay on top of it. You only wanna let it sit for maybe five or six minutes. Okay, so now that I let the filter soak for a little bit, there's no brushing required or anything like that. You just wanna let the cleaner sit on the filter. After that, you wanna, again, work from the inside out. You wanna take your hose or take your sink nozzle, whatever, and you wanna spray from the inside out, getting all of that filter cleaner off. We wanna make sure that we rinse this thing completely. I suppose I, I also should mention that you don't want to use a setting that is too strong for the filter. This one looks strong, but it's, uh, it's actually coming out fairly light. 
Okay, so now that you have the rinsing done, you've got all the cleaner off, this is where the longest step takes place. This is where you wanna let this thing dry completely before applying the oil. So we have our filter, we're gonna sit this thing out, we're gonna let it dry, might give it a little bit of help with the uh, blow dryer again. But again, you wanna make sure that this thing is completely dry before putting on your oil, because obviously oil and water don't mix, and we want the oil to apply lightly and evenly. Okay, so once your filter is dry, that's when you want to start applying your oil. I'm using the KNN Red Oil. I'll put a link to this down below as well as the cleaner. But when you apply this stuff, you want to apply it kind of like spray paint. Don't worry about getting it on the rubber. You can always wipe it off there. It's not going to hurt it at all. But you want to hold it at an angle that kind of gets all of the areas uh, that you're looking to cover, but doing it very evenly and very lightly. So you're going to take it, you're going to spray like this, one time across. Might have to go over it a couple times, but just go ahead and spray it across like that. And we're gonna go ahead and go over the entire thing, making sure that every bit is covered. Okay, now this is the reason why we wanted to let that filter dry completely before applying our oil, because the oil is going to absorb, and that's why you don't have to completely saturate it. You just wanna get it on there nice and evenly in that thin layer, and then it's going to absorb into the rest of the material. So we wanna let this sit a little bit now that we put that oil on there, and we want it to absorb in the entire filter to make sure that it's completely covered. So if you see small gray spots, I really wouldn't worry about that. Once it absorbs the oil, you're gonna see it start to turn red, and uh, you know it'll, it'll be just fine in the end. But again, that's why we wanted it to dry completely to give the material as much uh, absorption as possible. And then we'll go ahead and we'll clean off all of the uh, rubber parts here. Okay, so after you let the filter sit for a little bit and let the oil work its way through the filter, just go ahead and reinstall it in whatever system you have. And you can see, I mean, just by looking at the before and after, you can see that there's a pretty big difference. I mean, it looks good as new, it's ready to go. It's freshly oiled, so we don't have to worry about any of these small particles getting through. And uh, it's a great way to save money because you don't have to buy a new filter every single time it needs to be cleaned. You just go ahead and clean this one and you can clean it multiple times and have a nice fresh filter after each one. So anyway, that's how to clean your K&N oiled air filter. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.